do this only took a script and a troubling demise of failing a video. Anyway, this is about genetic stuff. Genetic transformation to be precise. Genetic transformation is a stupid human somehow grabbing genetics from one organism to another. These steps usually involve isolating the genetic cone containing the gene of interest and inserting the gene into a plasmid and then putting that in the desired destination. For the desired destination to reproduce and show that gene traded. Now the prime targets of testing this is usually bacteria, as bacteria reproduces very quickly, and they're literally single-celled organisms. It is, it's, it's kind of, it, do you need any more explanation? Yeah, so bacteria use binary fission. You don't know what binary fission is? Well, too bad, we're moving on. With genetic transformation, we can improve human life through resist, um, resisting heart diseases, brain functioning, health having healthier hearts and minds and whatever, which I do not have, having rich people get their golden child they want with a certain trait, and also being heat resistant to always come back and never stop coming back. So us being humans and suffering through school a quarter of our lives, if we do college, we had a lab to do. The, the, not hands down, the lab was fun. I just, I don't have friends, so it's kind of hard for me to do anything. It's also kind of why I'm doing this to you alone. It's, it's fine. Anyway, um, the bacteria we subjected on was E. coli. Now, don't worry, it's not the bad kind, she says. Uh, and things to take note before we continue is the GFP, ampicillin, and arabinos. Arabinos? Arab arabinos? Albino? We got an albino dinosaur who did that. Ampicillin kills only bacteria who don't have the plasmid or gene yeeted into it or transcribed. I like saying you did though. Abarinos, I just don't know how to say that. Arabinos, Arab, Arabinos is the on off switch for bacteria to glow. And we, um, the GFP is also the gene that we are stealing and eating. And that is from jellyfish. So if the Arabinos doesn't have it, then it would, it, it don't work. You know. Setting up, we had four plates. We had LB, which was in control. LB is food, so it was in all four plates, because then the bacteria would die no matter what we do. It, it's kind of neatest. With the LB plate, we put the non-charged bacteria in it. The non-charged bacteria is the bacteria that does not have the yeeted con gene that we wanted to, you know, use. The next two plates had epicil. Epicil would kill the ones that are non-charged, but would, keep, would feed and keep the ones that are charged. Though, this is without the needed GFP. The last plate had Empicil, LB, and Arabinos. This is used so that when the bacteria grows and reproduces, you can see that it actually glows. I t t here's a fit photo, I guess. Yay. And we had to do these all in groups. Now, my group was very interesting. Right off the bat, our LB was already looking different from other groups. The bacteria, um, it didn't grow as fast, so we still had the colonies of bacteria. We didn't have what was supposed to happen in the lawn version. The lawn version is where the bacteria colonies were just too much, so it all, it just spread all over. So yeah, uh, it, it, it just didn't grow as fast, so we messed up something there. Our episode with non-charged bacteria was great, 10 out of 10. It was void of life. The same as me. But the epithel with the positive charge was different. We, it was also void of life. It wasn't supposed to be. The bacteria was supposed to eat and grow as it had the gene, therefore it would be allowed to live. But it, it didn't happen. My theory is that someone dropped it, so we had to redo it and therefore we messed up the heating cooling process. Our last one did glow though, so it, it was nice. We, we got it, yay. We did it. No, that's about the end of it. The only errors I can see is that thing. And yeah, I don't see any hidden variables or anything else that could have intervened. And I like genetic engineering. It's cool. It's great. As long as there's no other Jurassic Park full of dinos that happens, it's, it's going to be great. Yay. Time to upload to this my non-existent YouTube channel. And other important factors that I forgot to state 
were uh, restriction enzymes, which cut off the specific sequence of gene that we wanted to eat into the other things. And the sticky ends help the genes reconnect, so nothing in the DNA pattern would be wrong and mutate the DNA. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, yeah. There's some special mentions of the OCs that aren't my OCs, but I love them. And yeah, and here's my teacher. She's nice. I like her. Hello. Hope you have a good day. Yeah.